Chess friends, today I played with new Alpha Zero Beta Engine, as you know he have 4050 LO ratings in chess and he is master of strategies and attacks, and I am a tactical player and I am good at defense, today I have black pieces against him, so let's go, he started with e4, I played c5, knight to e2, it is called caress variation, alpha could play knight here, knight c3, therefore I will play d5, e5, knight c6, and knight f6 which is also available, but I play d6, we have g6 but defense. Bobby Fischer's favorite opening, alpha want to play bishop here, d4, then knight c3, his long term strategy is to castle, then push the h pawn to put the king on h2, then play f4 with the supporting of the rook, so we have knight to c6, bishop here, g6, it is called dragon sicilian, putting pressure on central squares, so alpha responded with c3, try to block the bishop line, bishop to g7, he played d4, you might think pawn can take it, let me show you, after takes this pawn is a weakness for white. Black will continuously put pressure on this pawn, but the truth is that this central pawns are solid, knight here then bishop to e3 to protect it, so, in this position, I played natural move knight to f6, we have d5, targeting on the knight, the knight could go to the a5 or e5, but I choose to play knight retreats on b8, alpha advance the queen side with a4, he want to play bishop here, then castle, pawn pushing to put the king on there to move the f-pawn to f4 to control more center, we have castle, a6 and knight to d2, now he can play a5 to put the knight on b6 square like this to put pressure on this rook, or he can play f4, believe me f4 is totally possible because of this pawn structure, black cannot seize dark square to create weaknesses in dark squares, also alpha can advance his queenside pawns, he have good opportunities, we have knight to d7, he played a3, he can play c4 to stabilize the structure instead of moving the knight on c4, and h3 move plan I already told you, right. I sacrificed a pawn by playing b5, alpha takes the pawn, I moved my knight on a6, if you take it, then bishop takes, to grab the diagonal, so we have c4, knight back to d7, pawn takes, bishop takes, targeting this pawn with two pieces, so queen c2 to protect it, so knight e5 to pressure it, alpha played b3, now we have knight to d3, you cannot take the knight, because your rook will be gone, so rook b1, here you can play knight to b4 to pressuring the queen, but I take the bishop on c1. I don't recommend you to capture a piece that is underdeveloped and has never moved before with your advanced piece, but I did it because there is 20 move strategy which you cannot understand because of your 2 gigabytes ram brain, alpha takes the knight, knight back to d7, here my strategy is to move back my bishop to re-rotate the knight on a6, then play knight b4, here comes rook a2 with the supporting of the knight, rook will get the second rank and bishop have diagonal on there and so on, ok. Alpha played f4, because he is a stockfish subscriber, he know my strategies, and chess friends, if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel, then you can like and subscribe to my channel to get more interesting, and educational contents look at alpha zero's plan, he pushes all the pawns to get more space and more squares to control, his long term strategy is to play knight here, knight c3, then rook here, push the e pawn, after takes, takes, then push it, if takes then takes, this pawn is supported by the rook and it is enough to create problems for me, so here I move back my bishop, rook slides, rook goes to a3, my idea is to play queen here to get the a file, king slides, queen to a5, queen here, rook a2, knight here, bishop goes to a6, my bishop move plan is to slide the rook on a8, then rook b2, rook here to attack it and queen here to add pressure, so knight to c1 by alpha, rook b2, this rook is well protected by the bishop, and I want to play queen here, if takes then bishop. Once the queen falls then the queen side structure will be fall soon, so alpha slides the queen, bishop to b7, here if you think why not alpha just pushing his e-pawn, but things are not simple, if e5 happen, then takes, knight takes, takes and takes, e3, the pawn cannot move or take it, because of the bishop and rook line up the innocent bishop, so after king slides, queen a to add pressure here, so rook here, takes, and takes, you will lose the e-pawn and the position will be bad for you, so. Back to the position, 
we have g4, now he is threatening to play e5, we have queen c3, rook ups, queen backs, alpha played g5, bishop backs, h4, h5, you shouldn't play on Passan move, because you will lose the pawn, don't just look for on Passan, look for best moves, rook here, takes, takes, queen takes, knight takes, we have big exchange, knight b6, king ups, bishop here, I just want to play rook here to use the a-file to go to a1, bishop here, rook a8, knight here, rook a1, knight here, check, blocks, here, backs, rook here, rook slides, knight goes to d1, everybody protects everybody, alpha is doing well, rook slides, here, there, bishop takes, takes knight backs, here, bishop to d4, we have knight to d2, alpha is playing perfectly, that's why I titled it perfect chess, there is very few weakness on pawn structure, you have to win at least alpha's one pawn then the game is yours, but alpha is perfectly put all his pieces, rook slides to a1, knight to e2, bishop backs, king here, knight backs, here, check, knight here, comes, rook slides, here and check, backs, check here, bishop here, takes, rook, here, takes, here, takes and knight takes, rook h2 to target this pawn, knight here, if you rook can take the pawn, let me show you, if rook takes happen, then e5, takes, it's not f takes e5, it's knight takes check, knight takes pawn and king here then d6, alpha will create his past d pawn, which will be unstoppable, so back to the position, we have king f8. In this position alpha have knight and rook versus my army and my army general, let's see the end game who will win to whom. In this position, both cannot make progress, we agreed with a draw, wish you all the best, thanks for watching and subscribe for more, bye bye take care see you soon.